give me your sound check. Hey, 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 hey. My name is Omer. I'm come from Burundi. Hello. It's a video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what time it is. You know what time it is, people. Ah, welcome to Africa. Bio Orbeno. Now, nigga, nigga. Uh, nigga, 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 nigga. Nigga, nigga. Why am I here uh, to attend Nigga, nigga festival? Like, I've spent a lot of time going to festivals, like, all around the world. Uh, I don't think I've ever experienced anything quite like, like, what just happened in there for four days. What do you have to say about Nigga, nigga? Nigga, nigga is good. Yeah. Nyegi nyegi is something that can make you happy. Nyegi nyegi and my language is something like that. Happiness. Yeah, it's a, it's a great vibe. Uh, even, yeah, and the festival hasn't even started. So I am excited to see uh, how it's gonna explode in the festival. <laughs> I guess I came to experience something new, something I haven't experienced before. Negi Negi is just diversity. And you know, uh, there's this mainstream thing that really kills the music. Man, Negi Negi is just a revival of yeah. all that like good music which is trapped in there, you know. And also like, what I uh, always see on festivals, every, every festival now these days call themselves as electronic festival, but most of the time it's just house of techno, you know. And electronic music festival is like so much more than house and techno. Like yesterday we were talking about in France or somewhere, if you want to listen to metal, you go to a metal festival. If you want to listen to noise, you go to noise festival. But here, you can have it all and just watch everything at the same time, in the same place. Brand new dance from Africa. Everybody. Sumam Nazareti. Okay. Diversity, but like in different ways. Not only in colors, but also like, who, are, who, who is the crowd? Sumam Nazareti. From like, let me say, the gay scene, the, 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 the ghetto, underground, black scene. Everyone from all walks of life um, being here, partying in peace and just enjoying themselves, having fun. That alone is the root, is the power. It's, it's a bit of a cliche, but I always believe that music has the power to bring people together. People are open, expressive, the way they dress, the way they, you know, they dance and everything is like, people be themselves and that's a beautiful thing. Getting to know each other, listening to music, arts, fashion, life, nature, everything. Ubali, 
Ichambe nambere dusangira umunezero umuziki wacu twakuye Burundi Kodu Kodu is means uh, exchange I think that's uh, that's an ultimate word that explains what happens at the festival People's music stages are extremely malleable. So even in a place like Uganda, where there was a, a quite a tight kind of like music taste, we've seen over the last few years uh, people embrace like more intense music and more variety. The more dialogue you have when it comes to music, I mean, the better it is. Um, the more interchange there is. All the kids that came also from Indonesia and China, that was great, like yeah. they were incredible. They played a lot of Gabar music and we don't have it in uh, Africa. Nobody yeah. listens to Gabar in Africa. Yeah. So when the people are listening to this fast-paced music and they bring it here, we're like, yes, man. Whew. particularly impressed by Nyege Nyege because um, they gave exposure to so many African artists we had never, we never even knew existed and the kind of music that we'd never had a chance to listen to unless you dig really deep and, um, and they did this without booking huge headliners, international headliners, which is like extremely remarkable. There are only being two CDJs and having to run them across, you know, two or three stages, the torrential rain. It makes for a good story for outsiders because you can be like, oh my God, Africa, it's like the wild, wild west or whatever. But, you know, it's just people making it work the same way that people are trying to make things work anywhere. We have our challenges, but for us, it's just a part of how we operate. This festival has actually brought a lot to the country. It's brought exposure to different types of music. It's literally created an entire tourism sector because there are literally people flying in only for this festival. And it's created a whole an economic hub in Jinja where because of the festival, so many other businesses are able to benefit. You've got border drivers benefit, the cooking lady benefiting, the people who sell clothes benefiting, just like the clubs nearby benefiting, the hotels benefiting. It literally benefits the entire town just by being a festival. Over the last five years, I mean, obviously things have grown very fast. just had to manage like sort of exponential growth in both um, like attendees to the festival but also with bookings and releases and artists and, 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 and all that. I feel there's few festivals in the continent that are taking risks in their lineups that are not choosing lineups necessarily across the board to, to, to get higher attendees. Also when you find 
especially in Uganda where promoters are also very like cash minded because it's a business and you know liquidity is always you know very little uh, you you start getting one type of event uh, at the expense of others uh, yeah it, it, it's grown the, the programmation they have here at Nyegenyege is, is, is far better than most European festivals I know they, they, they really take risks and people playing and they're not going for the obvious names and so it and, and organizing something like this this these kind of artists in this country it's it's yeah you can only have big applause and bow for them it's it's fantastic the fact that we had you know, so many bookings that come out of the artists performing at the festival Friend of mine, Mika Oki, she played here last year and she's on the same agency as me. And um, we had, I had like a meeting with her in Brussels like a few months ago. And also Derek, the uh, main founder, one of the founders, he was there also. And we had like a good connection and then I'm now here. <laughs> <laughs> the artists are happy. The yes, audience everyone happy. was happy. Audience was happy. People were enjoying, and here we are. Here we, are. we did it. Nyege nyege ninziza chani. So brave, brave. Nyege nyege is expressive. It's life. Nege Nege is life. I love it. Nege Nege is life changing. Nege Nege is like Christmas to me. <laughs> it taught me to be open minded and also be tolerant. Just freedom and bliss and seeing people happy. I'm like, this is what we want to keep on doing year after year after year. <laughs> yeah. And your mama, who was that? Who made your lovers and your enemies? Who was that? Who made your sister and your brother? Who was that? Who made your grandma and your grandpa? Who was that? No feelings like it, no my jarasta, far I no love feel like it, no my jarasta, far I no feelings like it, no my jarasta, far I no love. Oh, Nege Nege is fucking book wild. Sorry, that's two words, but. <laughs> Muzemura be barirenge che, muzemura be vambaya maru.